Blunderbuss by Jack White off of his first solo album, Blunderbuss. This is a simple song which proves a point I've made many times. A beautiful song, a great song, does not have to be complicated. It's very simple. Three chords. D, C, G. I'm assuming you know those chords. If you don't, there's a billion ways to learn them on the interweb. So learn those three chords and you know this song practically. Learn the lyrics and you can perform this and and uh, enjoy it a lot. So let's start. It's that D chord is what it begins with. And there's a lot of piano, a lot of layering to this song. It's not just an acoustic song. There is an acoustic playing. But if you want to play it with an acoustic and sing it, that would be great. Or you can have a little bit of drums behind you. You can have somebody on an electric guitar playing on the D major pentatonic. If they know that, they can layer some things on top of it, maybe between the lyrics. And uh, you guys can make your, the song your own. And uh, that's what I like to do. So here we go. D starts with that. The little intro is an acoustic guitar. Start with uh, the D, but lift up your ring finger and your index finger. And then I simultaneously uh, pluck the uh, D string and the E string like that. But then I hammer into position of my D major. So I uh, hammer into position and uh, hit the B and the uh, G string. So I kind of work my way down. And then I go to that C. So I hit the, uh, that's the C note, which makes up, of course, part of the C chord. So I don't go fully into the C chord. I just lift my uh, two fingers again, my index and my uh, middle finger, and I put my middle finger on the C note, which is the third fret of the A string. So hit that third fret of the A string, which again is the C chord. I kind of like just saying it like that. So hit that C, and then you're going to hit the uh, the uh, G string. Then the E string and then the B string. And you've got your finger still on that third fret, which is a D note. He does that, I think, three times. I did it more, obviously, if you want to maybe try to play along with that. Now, whenever he goes into maybe the next little section there of that intro, it's simply I'm hitting the D and the E at the same time, but the, the D chord is in position. Okay, so now I'm going, same thing, I hit uh, the D string and the E string at the same time, then I hit the B and then the G. Now I go back to that C. And I just hit the uh, A string, G string, B string. And I do the same thing with now the G note, which is the third fret of the E string. Hit those same two strings down below, which would be the G and the uh, B string. And then you end it with just a D chord. does that a couple of times right before he starts singing. Now you can keep playing exactly that same thing while you sing or while someone sings. I had my dream, I held your hand on that broad avenue. Crossed the road and never spoke to another as we flew. So you can play it that way or once you start singing you can go into a little bit more of just the chords and a little bit more strumming. Now he does strum later in the song, so you can kind of pick or choose how you want to play it because obviously you don't have a piano, you don't have drums going, well maybe you do, and if you do that's great. So you could sing it, uh, I had my dream, I held your hand on that broad avenue, crossed the road and never spoke to another as we flew. So it's up to you, and that's uh, really the whole song. 
goes through that, does kind of change the, uh, you know, how he plays it, whether he's plucking it or strumming it. Uh, he does stop the one time on the G and says, uh, uh, to quietly blend into. And then he goes right back to the uh, to those same chords. So that's it. I mean, it could not be more simple. It's just how you want to play it. You can uh, literally, if you're just starting out, this is a great song. Grab a, a pick. You don't have to uh, finger anything. You can just go, had my dream. I held your hand on that broad avenue. Crossed the road and never spoke to another as we flew. Left your man alone and dragged, laughing there at us. A romantic bus, a blunder turned explosive blunder bus. Love that line, by the way. Beautiful line, beautiful song. I love it. In fact, quick story, and then I'll let you go. I actually, uh, this was the first album I bought by Jack White or the White Stripes. I had gotten into Seven Nation Army a little bit, and um, uh, Icky Thump got my attention. And so I was kind of listening to those songs a little bit, didn't know much about the Stripes. And uh, I got Jack White's solo album, Blunderbuss, and I love it. I still love it. It's uh, it's just a great song, and this is the first song on the album. And uh, I hope you love it too, but very simple. And uh, from there, I literally, my uh, <laughs> the way I got connected to the White Stripes is I literally listened, started buying the albums in reverse. So Icky Thump was the first uh, White Stripes album that I, I got and listened to, and then I went in reverse from there, and their very first album was the last one, and I, it became a project for me until I uh, had, you know, absorbed all of their music. So I, I, uh, I learned the White Stripes in reverse, which is an unusual way to get to know a band, but uh, uh, I don't regret it. It was a, it's a great little part of my life, having that music in my life. So there you go. That's Blunderbuss. Sorry if I talk too much. Uh, go play this song and let me know how you like it. Over and out from my easy chair.